Hey, so what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the Wonderful Arsenio ZSL Podcast. And we are back with another wonderful listening. Today, we're going to be doing some listening. That's right, people. We're going to have four audios today. There are going to be four delegates, as a matter of fact, chatting at a conference reception. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a lot of notes. So I want you to write this down on a pen and paper, okay? What is the name of the person, the company they work for, the position, where they are based, what hotel they're in, the subject of their talk, okay, and the gossip. So again, of course, me, I will speak about the gossip. You will get all your notes taken down. Let's see how well you are with your listening. Again, to follow me, uh, make sure you follow me on Arsenio's ESL podcast page and let me know what you think about the listening because normally at the beginning of every day, I always post it down below uh, the little video. It's a nice little 30 to 30 second to about a 60 second snippet. And you'll be able to comment down below and say, oh, Arsenio, the second person, uh, William Hall, was way too difficult, you know, because da 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 whatever it may be, okay? Come back forth. You know, I got a lot of people commenting now. Went up about 25 followers, as a matter of fact, and it's continuing to rise. So very, very grateful for it all. And nonetheless, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to dive right into this bad boy stuff. So in saying that, Get your pen and paper out and uh, get ready for some audios. Track two. Conversation one. Oh, hi, David. How are things? <sighs> we were just talking about the guy over there. Who? The big tall guy in the green tie behind those women. The guy standing at the bar. Oh, yeah. You know him? Yes, that's Carl Schelling. Carl who? Schelling. He's the new director of R&D at Siemens. In Munich? Yeah, that's right. Nice guy. I was talking to him last night in the bar. Oh, he's at the Hilton? Yeah. He was telling me about how he got the job. Really? Yeah. Apparently he was headhunted from Phillips. They made him an offer he couldn't refuse. Doubled his salary. Headhunted? Hmm. Don't expect Phillips are too happy then. All that sensitive information. Well, no, quite. He's presenting, isn't he? Yeah, he's on this afternoon. He's talking about data security. You're joking. No, here he is on the programme. Uh, data security in the connected economy. There it is. So, again, subject of talk, data community in the connected environment. So you can only imagine... Okay, but hey, listen, if you got a price like that, I, I know one of the questions I actually gave some, one of my students was, would you take double the salary to live in a beautiful city, uh, city, but have a boring job? I'll repeat that to everyone out there. Would you take double the salary if you're working in Tokyo? Okay, I don't know how much the average is out there, but if you say 3,000, oh, by the way, big shout out. You know, I want to make a big shout out. Don't worry, I'm not going to lose my thought, but... As of late, this is the first time I had someone, uh, Jap not only just Japanese, but just like a Japanese um, st a male student. And he had uh, followed me, Shoto, I'm sorry, Shota Fuji, okay? Big shout out to you, Shota Fuji. Thank you so much for following me on my The Arsenio Bunk Show page. And uh, I do believe that he is a film producer, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty awesome guy, man. So... Big shout out to him, but nonetheless, if you're getting paid like 4,000 USD, if you had the opportunity to get 8,000 USD and work in a remote place in Texas, would you take it? Boring job living in Texas, would you take it? You're going from Tokyo to a small town of 100 people, would you take it for double the money? It puts things into perspective, huh? But again, have, being headhunted and everything from another organization, I've never, as a matter of fact, I was uh, headhunted about three years ago. I got an email from a guy who had a, a business training organization out there in, San, I think, Providencia, uh, uh, Chile. And he told me, he said, hey, man, uh, you know, I heard that you're really good. Da, 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 da. We heard about you. And, you know, I told him, I was like, oh, man, because I was still very indecisive about whether or not I was going to stay here in Thailand or not. And uh, yeah, I told him, I said, you know, I really want to just get myself situated first. 
again, I didn't have the why. I didn't have the vision. I didn't know what I was doing. I was chasing money rather than just me creating it, you know? And it, it's not until today I finally understand what that vision is. You know, one of the big goals of mine, obviously, after doing going through, you know, uh, doing the transformation program and doing all these big programs in Pretoria and out there in Hawaii uh, is to do, you know, big special training and workshops and stuff around the world with different people and go on different resorts and get away from, oh, man, it's just going to be phenomenal. I'm so excited about it. But nonetheless, when things begin to open up and I'm going to get a collab, you know, a lot, a huge collaboration together with other people, I'll be going into my life's work. So anyways, I'm saying that I'm speaking too much. Let's go into the next one. We got a William Hall. All right. So here we go. Track three. Get ready. Conversation two. Chris, who's that man over there in the light suit? You mean the grey suit? No, not him. Over there, standing by the entrance, talking to that woman in black. Oh, yes, that's, uh, what's his name? William Hill. Uh, Hall. William Hall, that's it. He's at the Sheraton, where I'm staying, actually. He's head of research at Sony UK. Yes, he's giving a talk on... Oh, where's my programme? Ah, yes, here it is. Uh, yes, on new generation gaming systems. Ten o'clock on Saturday. I think I'm going to that. Hmm, sounds interesting. He doesn't look very happy, though, does he? Well, no. Neither would you in his position. How do you mean? Well, this is just a rumour, mind you. But, um, I've heard they may be moving R&D to Frankfurt. Really? Are you sure? Well, no, but that's what I heard. And he doesn't want to make that move. Well, the thing is, I'm not sure they're keeping him on. I think they want a German to lead the team. Oh, I see. Well, no wonder he's unhappy. Now that is insane. Can you imagine giving a talk? Looks very unhappy. They're, they're moving to another country, another city. And they're not even going to take you. That is super difficult. Could you imagine? Like, hey, Arsenio, just want to let you know we're going to be relocating. Oh, great. But we're not taking you. See that right there? That's why I just love having full control of my life. You know, my friend, I was uh, I was at a one a beautiful uh, restaurant at Icon Siam last night. It's one of the newly uh, built uh, shopping plazas out here in Bangkok. And I was with one of my friends and she's like, man, it must feel so good knowing that you could take your work everywhere. And I just never really understood that luxury, you know, and I'm very, you know, fortunate uh, that, you know, I've been able to build this brand. And it took like three and a half years to start seeing ridiculous results. Remember, March 27th of 2018, I didn't get my first student until July of 2020. I had probably four students sparingly throughout September to about December of last year, 2020. And then obviously everything had taken off this year, including my life here in Thailand and doing big, massive trainings with the biggest companies out here. Um, so I'm glad I'm, uh, you know, that there have been probably a number of times where people didn't take me on as a teacher. Absolutely. 1000%. Even the company I tutor at right now, the only reason why they gave me these is because I went on a crazy spree and just started speaking crazy to everybody, you know, um, about a situation that had erupted. I told you guys, or you may have heard the podcast in regards to like overcoming racism in the workplace. But um, on top of that, it feels so rewarding saying, oh, Arsenio, can you do this class? And I'm like, okay, but how much am I going to grow by doing this? Like, is that hidden any of my skills? No. Okay, versus doing a training in an upcountry province uh, company, signing a huge 120 hour, you know, package deal, the biggest of my life. Like, it's a no brainer, right? That's no, that's 100% skill and needle moving forward type of, you know, acquisition that had happened. So, again, you know, being able to be the top in my, you know, my respect and my, in my specific realm and stuff, it, it's just so rewarding. So 
Huh. And saying that, people, going into the next one, we have Irina. All right, we got Irina coming up, and I'm going to hit mute, and it's time for you to listen. Track four. It's a long one. Conversation three. And you know nearly everybody here. Who's that woman in the brown jacket with the long red hair? She's talking to that other woman, the one with the blonde hair. Oh, you mean Irena? Irena Stefanovic? Yes, who is she? I saw her coming out of the Marriott last night with a whole group of people. Going to some dinner party, by the look of it? Sounded like they were speaking Polish. Yes, she's a professor at the Warsaw University of Technology. And I think she does quite a lot of consultancy work as well. Amazing speaker. You should go to her talk. Really? What's she talking about? I think she's doing a session this year on innovation strategies. Interesting. You know, I'm going to be working on a project in Krakow next year. Krakow? Oh, you'll love it there. Very nice city. Yes. If all goes well, there might be a lot more work in Poland. Oh, well, in that case, perhaps you should meet Irena. I'm sure she'd be interested in talking to you. Yes, perhaps you're right. I should warn you, though. What? Well, she's quite influential in Warsaw. Oh, yes? Yes. Let's just say it doesn't pay to get on the wrong side of her. A friend of mine knew her well. They had a bit of a disagreement, and his latest project proposal was rejected by the authorities. Hmm. Okay, I'll remember that. <laughs> but you must meet her. In fact, why don't I introduce you now? Um, well, okay then. And there it is, people. So, and saying that, oh, uh, oh, man, it doesn't pay to get on the wrong side of her. Listen, people who have, like, really snappy attitudes, man, I just, you know, I'm one of those people where I, like, cut people, I wouldn't say out of my life. You know, I like having the challenge, and I like dealing with things and compromise. But because, again, if I cut everybody negative out of my life, you know, <laughs> I'd be living on an island somewhere, like Castaway, Tom Hanks. But... <clears throat> At the same time, I it, it always brings me back to living in Melbourne in 2011 and uh, living with Mauritian people. Um, and, you know, hearing this girl, the lady that I was working with, her name was Ramishka, make a remark saying, oh, if you think I'm bad, you should meet my boss. She is so terrible. But she said it in a way that she really admired her boss being such a disgust, like being such a, a nasty individual. And now, of course, 10 years later, I look back and I say, oh, my God, they're really not going to get anywhere in life, you know, and how can you wake up being that type of person day in and day out that has no empathy, you know, um, you know, with those types of people, I do not tolerate them whatsoever. And this is why I'm so grateful that, again, I have to repeat myself, I'm in a field that I don't attract those types of individuals. I don't. With my personal development podcast, you know, I've had, you know, a few people out there in America listen to me. I don't know who they are, but now I have Irish people listening to me and stuff now. And so, again, with those two, obviously, in mind, I like to, you know, tell myself and ask myself, you know what, man, I'm doing, a, you know, I'm not going to just end up, you know, bringing a whole bunch of trolls onto my page because I just speak too much truth. And I'm just so much of a prolific speaker, and I'm very grateful for that. But, again, in saying that, going back to the whole business aspect of it do not do business with people who are just short fused meaning they will just turn on you very quickly or like a, na a nasty attitude or they have a very demeaning talk like do not allow people to speak down on you i don't give a damn superior they, they ain't nobody superior to me you know that's why here you know here in thailand there are, there were specific things that you know we would have to do based on you know showing respect to specific individuals in this country and i'd be like hold on hold on you guys have disrespected me all my life for the last four years living here and now you want me to do what and yet you still look at me and give me less work because i am black you see what i mean that's someone who literally is undeserving of you and i'm very grateful that i had to go through all of that to get where i am today because now i'm the, going to be that ultimate trainer you know and so in saying that, people, we're going to top it off with Margot right here, right now. The last one, if it wants to play. I don't I don't know if it's going to play or not. Let's see if it does. 
uh, or maybe, no, it's not my computer because my computer is actually phenomenal. So let's see. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do not believe that this last one is going to play. Nope, I, I do apologize for that, people. The last one is completely broken. But nonetheless, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning into this wonderful ESL podcast. Some good old listening, good old conversation. Did you understand everything? Were there some phrases you didn't understand? Come to my ESL podcast page on Instagram. Tell me what you didn't understand. Write it down. Go on over there. Let's have a conversation. I'll see you guys in the next one. Over and out.